Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a really cool space type animation inside of Photo Vibrance. Cool. So what I'm going to do is just go back from the start. So just go out of here and I'm just going to grab my image. All right. So I'm just going to go into 3D parallax and I'll make this an original size like so. And underneath this video, you'll be able to download this exact same image so you can go follow along with me and create this animation. So I'm just going to go over here. Now what I need to do is cut out this uh, earth or globe uh, part. So what I'm going to do is just go around kind of the atmosphere around here. So just quickly click, click around here. And this one's a really easy one to cut out uh, because it's got a black type background in this stars. It's really not too much to do here. So once we've got this, we can just give it a name. Let's call this one Earth like this and click on next. Now what we need to do is basically add those stars and fill in this kind of black part here. So I'm going to start cloning and I'm going to bring this up to maybe 90 or so and hold down control my keyboard to make a selection and left click and then just simply drag out like so you can left click around um, maybe around here and then just move it around and just fill in this background with stars so yeah it's good to make like certain multiple selections so you simply you know click here with control uh, to select that part you can see that this uh, the green circle is where it's making the selection and where my mouse cursor is is where it's placing that selection so you can just simply you know fill it in like so and yeah that's basically done now so it looks really good we've got our stars there like so and now i'm going to go to the next step and we can begin animating okay cool so what i'm going to do is just position the earth maybe around about five sec like the five second type mark um, and this is my layers panel so uh, whatever is closest to basically the layers over here it will be closest to the camera so you can see it's really zoomed in right like now so it doesn't look very good so what we want to do is basically bring it out to about maybe that position and you have to see when i move it now it's like moving in a nice kind of um, you know perspective so what i'm going to do is go to reset camera and then what i'm going to do is also grab another image so i'm going to click on the image over here and also this image i'll link underneath this video so you can go grab it um, but you can basically get any image of, of like a moon or a planet and just um, as long as it's got a dark background because we're going to use the blend modes to basically blend it into the background so over here with this image selected and if i go over to blending and go to screen you can see now that it removes the black parts of that image and now we can basically position this behind the earth layer and you have to see that now it's looking really good it's behind there like so now one of the things is what we want to do with this earth one is we want to basically select it. So click over here with the layer selected, click on your earth and then you'll see the blur radius. So I just want to bump this up quite high, maybe about 80 or 100. Actually I might bring it up a bit more actually like so. And I'm going to position this slightly higher. I'll just simply bring it down like so like this. Okay, cool. Cool. So what we want to do now is uh, also I'm going to go into the objects library. And I'm going to search for people. And um, you could go, you know, if you've got any kind of PNG cutouts, you can go grab one. I've got one. I'm going to use this one here. You could use also if you've got like an astronaut or something like that. That could look quite cool. So you can give it a name as well. Of course, one person like this. And I'm just going to position this guy down here. And also, I want to make sure that it's, you know, over on the left side of... Uh, the earth because if I put it behind the earth you both see now it's sorted below the earth so I want to bring it maybe around about here so it's quite close to the camera so it's going to zoom in it's going to first see the person then we're going to see the earth then we're going to go back over here so if I just show you um, I'm also going to go actually add some text let's just type in uh, photo vibrance and you could go through add you know whatever text you want um, I'm going to go with the text font Oswald for this one and I'm going to also bring up the letter spacing and I'm just going to make it a lot smaller because it's going to be a lot further away and I'm going to zoom into it so I'm going to bring it up here I'm also going to add an animation I'm going to put in a fade in animation and I'm going to set the duration to about two and a half seconds and I'm going to delay it by maybe three seconds you could also manually put like five seconds if you want in there I'm going to say three seconds and that looks pretty good so what I'm going to do is 
position this text now also at the back because we want it to be behind uh, all these other objects. So I'm just going to drag it maybe maybe about here. Let's see what that looks like. Actually, I'm going to put it behind everything actually and put this one slightly closer like that. And yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, cool. So now what we can do is begin animating this. So I'm going to go to the camera. I'm going to select the camera and I'm going to leave the keyframe as it is. So if you've kind of zoomed in, maybe you can reset it. And then what I'm going to do is click on add keyframe. You can also double left click to add a keyframe like that if you want. But I'm going to add a keyframe. I'm going to move the keyframe to about, let's say, seven seconds. And what I'm going to do is just simply zoom in. Okay, so you can either use the, this selection over here or you could go and use this zoom over here. I'm also going to keep moving it so that it kind of zooms in over to my text. So I'm just scroll out and bring it in like this. Bit further in okay like that cool now I might actually want to move my text down slightly so what I'm going to do is go back to layers and I'm going to select my text and just drag it down oh whoops let's just put it in front for now just to select it drag it down slightly and I'm going to put it back over here and let's just select that okay I might go back again so some of these yeah some of the time you might have to kind of go back and forth and just play around with it to make sure it's in the right position Okay, something like that and let's have a look if I select this keyframe it goes a bit better I might even actually just make it a bit bigger so I'm gonna go back to layers again make the text slightly bigger and if you can't select it you have to kind of bring it over like so um, maybe out there and I'll position this again at the back let's have a look at this okay cool so that's looking quite good I'm just gonna move it up a little bit I can zoom out using the scroll on my mouse to use this like so and yeah that's looking pretty cool so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and preview that so I'll click play and there we go I've got a really nice space zoom and because we're using the blend modes on this image you, you, you'll be able to also see some stars that are kind of uh, in a different dimension than the actual background so it gives it a, a more of a 3d effect and what we could also do is go to particles I'll just go back over to layers go to particles turn on the particles and we could go through, I'm going to select maybe this white one here and I'm going to bring down the size quite a lot so it's kind of like little stars and I might bring down the quantity slightly as well maybe something like 50 and also reduce the opacity and bump up the depth, okay? So yeah, let's just see what that looks like now. Cool, so that's looking really good and we could have you know, some extra text maybe like bring your image to another dimension um, you could add some extra effects you could even have like a an image of like an astronaut uh, like a PNG one you could put him in a different you know a layer dimension and he could be floating around or you can add some effects and, and play around with that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to download the image below and have a go yourself and yeah as always have fun creating